Look at that. Welcome back guys. Guess who's back? Hi. 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 Anyways, Trey's back. Uh, <laughs> this is Twisted Toy Garage and we're about to take Linda out for a ride. So, Trey gets back from vacation and the car is done. Yeah. Lucky you. Yeah, <laughs> helps to be the boss. Wait, what? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, boss, right. Anyways, we're about to take this thing out for a test drive real quick. Um, I took it out yesterday, and she's moving. I know that we took a test drive on Sunday, and I said that she was she was moving, but she wasn't moving like we uh, expected it to. So we got back to the shop, and... Found out the coil pack for cylinder two wasn't all the way down, so we had a slight mis um, misfire. Fixed that, and now she's definitely running on all horses. And so we're gonna take Trey for the first ride, and he's gonna take the camera. All right, see you guys in a second. Oh my arm, my hands in the way. Hey guys, so uh, Trey forgot to record his reaction when he when I got on the uh, car and it built loose. So I'm in the passenger seat, Trey's driving, driving it back home for my test drive uh, somewhere in Mexico and there's the Mexican police officer. Policia. Policia. It looked like he'd be turning. If you want, go back that way, do a U-turn. Oh, no. All right. For the uh, camera, it's, we got a really stiff suspension, so it's probably going to be a little bouncy. But how did it feel? Fast. Faster. I wouldn't say fast. We're good. Good on the laptop. I guess he's going to try brake boosting. Think it should have been a little bit 
faster? No, I should have. I should have brake boosted a little faster. Like my mile per hour should have been higher. It's a beautiful night here in Mexico. <laughs> They got Chick-fil-A in Mexico. <laughs> All right, so we're back in the garage. Um, Trey, how was your test drive? It was all right. <laughs> That's all you got for me? Well, That's all you got for the people? Kept going in lit mode, which I'm not very happy about. Yeah, uh, we're over boosting. Um, not sure why yet something about a valve for the turbo um, that I read on forms. Uh, we're gonna check that out, see if that's the issue. But other than that, the car is moving like it's supposed to. So I'm happy with the results of what the turbo should, what the car should feel like without it going into limp mode. But <clears throat> apparently somebody isn't happy. Not very happy, no. I'm crumpy man anyways so we're in a garage we're gonna proceed on going to the track tomorrow because we can always just clear the code it's literally a two second thing um, and just got to watch the boost pressure we do have a boost gauge so it shouldn't be that difficult so we're prepping for tomorrow and in that prep um trays over here changing oil because this is the oil we put in the motor when we first put the car together and ran for three days four days three days something like that and so we're going to train oil i'm going to put these bad boys on make sure our suspension is somewhat in a nice ride height make sure nothing rubs um, brand new R triple eights. Um, we're running a 16 inch rim. Uh, stock is 18. The lowest rim size we can go with the stock uh, calibers and disc brakes in the front are 16s. Uh, once I get these on, I'll show you guys what they look like when they're on and see how close they are to the rotor and the um, caliber but 16 by 8 and we're running a size 245-45-16 so we're gonna get to work get this thing prepped and check you guys in a minute So, got the rim on, tire, and that's what she looks like so far. Uh, we gotta get her on the ground, make sure the suspension is where it's supposed to be, and continue. How do oil change go? <laughs> it's going. Trey said the oil looked pretty nasty, which is to be expected. If you guys saw what the um, cylinder head looked like and all the uh, carbon buildup. So it's to be expected. But do an oil change, put some fresh oil in it. And let me go put the other side on and. You dropping stuff? Nah, that was me. Yeah, he's always dropping stuff. I'm sweating, it's hot in here. So what do you need? Fill me up. With? Air. Gotta pump tray up with some air. Don't even think about it, bro. Anyways, so.
so before, like I was telling you, the amount of space we have between the uh, caliber and the rim and the disc brake, those disc brakes are still hot. I'm trying not to burn myself. Let me get a flashlight. Flashlight. Garage mass. AJ, where's the O-ring? Should be in there. Right there. You got a pick? Yeah. Give me a second. I'm trying to show our viewers how close our rotor is to our rim. It's actually not that bad. We got 10 mil spacious in there. Well, I'm talking about the size. Oh. But we, oh. we also have 10 mil uh, spacers in there, so we stay off of the coilovers back there. Because. I don't know if you guys can actually see that. Let me see if I get the camera back there. I don't know. I can't tell if you guys can see. I guess I'll be able to tell in editing. But yeah. We'll see what happens when she sit down on all fours. We got the car down. Oil change. Um, oil is topped up. We got this stance. The fitment. She looks good. It was wide, nice and wide tire. Right now we have it, the PS. <laughs> they're, they're only tires, AJ. Hey, <laughs> tires, tires, tires are tires, bro. They're if you tires. know that the technology in tires is absurd. There's this guy that sits in a really dark room somewhere and he has a pencil and a piece of paper and he comes up with all these formulas and all types of stuff. If you ever do any tire research, the different types of tires, the compounds, the multi-compound tires, it's insane. For, for cars, motorcycles, motorcycles is even crazier. But yeah, I like tires. Sex. It is really good. Thank you, Koenig.